Hi friends, today we are going to study from our chemistry syllabus of the 10th standard carbon compounds. This is the important topic from the chemistry that is the carbon compounds. We know that carbon is the important element. I said it is an amazing element because carbon can form the large number of compounds when we compare the carbon with the 117 elements, the compounds formed by the 117 elements and singly the carbon, carbon can exceed the compounds formed by them and therefore carbon is having the very important that the part in our life. Carbon compounds, they are covalent compounds. In our day to day life, we are using many carbon compounds. And which are that carbon compounds? They are the actually carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, which are the part of our diet. As well as the carbon form the important compound like the bad fibers, that is synthetic fibers, natural fibers, medicines, petrochemicals, many such compounds they are the part of our life, paint, dyes and therefore carbon has the very important that the part of our life. Now see, carbon that forms the covalent compounds, it is the important characteristic. The question arises in mind then why carbon form the large number of compounds? Because carbon is having tetravalency. What is the atomic number of carbon? The atomic number of carbon is 6, its electronic configuration is 2, 4. Carbon is having the most tendency to share the electron, then to accept or then to lose. Suppose carbon is going to lose the electron, then it can form the carbon plus 4 ion. But it is not possible because the atomic size becomes very small and it is not able to handle such the positive charge for that atom. So atom or that ion become unstable. Carbon do not able to gain the electron. Suppose it gain the electron, it forms the carbide ion, but it is not mostly stable in the much compounds. Because it is not possible to handle this charge, that is the less number of protons and more number of electrons. And so it is also in the most of the compound unstable. Carbon prefers mostly to share the electrons. When carbon share the electron, then it can form the compound, take the simplest hydrocarbon, that the methane. It exhibits the tetravalency. So carbon is tetravalent, at a time it can form the four bonds. Carbon is having the another important property called as catenation. What is the catenation? It is the property to form the long chains. Carbon combines with the another carbon atoms and form the such long straight chains as well as the branched chains. As well as the cyclic compounds also due to its catenation property. What is catenation? The property of direct bonding between the atoms of the same element to form the long chain. And due to these two important part points, that is the tetravalency and catenation, carbon can form the large number of compounds. Carbon compounds are covalent compounds. And what are the compounds actually? Compounds means when the elements combine, they form the compounds. Atoms of the element combine in the fixed proportion, then they form the molecules of the compounds. There are mainly the two types of compounds, ionic compounds and covalent compounds. When metals and non-metals combine, generally that form the ionic compounds. There is the loss and gain of electron. The chemical bond formed by the exchange of electron is ionic bond. And the chemical bond formed by the sharing of electron is called as the covalent bond. So, covalent bond is mostly formed by these compounds. Likewise, the carbon compounds, there are another compounds, they are also covalent compounds. Take the example of hydrogen. Hydrogen also shares its two electrons and form the hydrogen molecule. Oxygen molecule, oxygen is having the atomic number 8. Its electronic configuration is the 2,6. These are the 6 electrons in the outermost shell. Then oxygen shares its two electrons with the another oxygen atom to complete its octet and it forms the oxygen double bond oxygen. So this is O2 molecule. This is also covalent. Here the 
मालिक्यूल वाटर मालिक्यूल एच टू ओ ऑक्सीजन नाउ हेयर द शेयर्स इट्स टू इलेक्ट्रॉन विद द टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन एंड फॉर्म्स द एच टू ओ मालिक्यूल देन अनदर एग्जांपल इज नाइट्रोजन नाइट्रोजन आल्सो शेयर्स नाउ व्हाट इज द एटॉमिक नंबर ऑफ नाइट्रोजन nitrogen is having the atomic number 7 its electronic configuration is to 5 nitrogen require 3 electrons to complete the octet and therefore nitrogen now share its 3 electron with the another nitrogen atom and forms the nitrogen triple bond nitrogen so n2 molecule is having triple bond it means the covalent compounds are containing the covalent bonds and there are three types of covalent bonds single bond double bond and triple covalent bond and here the molecules are formed now see another example here methane so methane is having the dot and the dash structure in this way these are the lewis structure they are called as the dot and cross structures this is the here dash structure these are the lewis structures given to represent the covalent molecules and in this way the covalent molecules are form our carbon compounds likewise are also the covalent compounds what are the properties of covalent compounds the properties of covalent compounds are that they are having the low melting boiling point there is the less attractive force between the molecules most of the covalent compounds are having the melting and boiling point below 300 degree celsius and therefore covalent compounds are having different properties than the ionic compounds covalent compounds are is generally insoluble in water covalent compounds are soluble in the organic solvents these are the very important properties of the carbon compounds and the carbon compounds are covalent compounds so today that we have studied the important first point in the topic that what type of the compounds are the carbon and what are the properties of covalent compounds and how we can denote the lewis structures of them thanks for listening my at the first lecture thanks all of you